Hello, welcome back. Here we are. Standing in front of German. I'm gonna go get some German tries. Cause I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat the uh DLC boss. Not solo. Like, I just want to hit him and see what kind of damage I do now. Okay, here we go. Well, that, I felt like that should have been a visceral. Okay, could you stop shooting? How? How was that a visual? I wasn't even attacking. I was just... What? <laughs> Shouldn't he can visceral my gunshots? That was scary. There, got him. He waited a really long time to do that. He waited a really long time to do that ability. So the, the what's going on is that um, because you've taken the umbilical cords, uh, you're kind of part old one now, and so he can't really uh, properly put his influence over top of you to control you or she. And so instead, you must die. You get to start this fight with the resources you have left after German. So that's fun. Luckily, this fight's actually much easier. Way easier than German. Okay, I was...
I guess it doesn't matter if you're dodging if the whole body lands on top of you it counts as a hit. Oh well. Did I get any souls from killing Garmin? I didn't get anything, did I? Hmm. I don't have a hat on. <laughs> Oops. Well, the good news is you get to start the next fight with all the resources back, because you don't gotta fight German every time. Just trying to look for my um, echoes to pick them up. I'm pretty sure I just rolled under it that time. Anyone seen my blood echoes? I don't remember if I had any from German or not. I don't think I did though. See, he does that move, which is like the worst idea he could do. Because after he does that, he just stands there. So that move that he did there knocks you down to one health. Okay, I don't remember this move. What is that? Big area of effect, sort of but it's only in the area where he did it. If he kept attacking after he did that move, it might be dangerous, but because he just pauses for like a friggin' minute, it's super easy to kill him through it. Where are my blood echoes? I don't see them. Okay, I guess I don't get them back, because I don't see them. I could have sworn I died, like right around the middle here. Oh well, they're gone forever. Are you cold? <laughs> oh, good hunter. So I guess after killing the Moon Presence, you've gathered enough uh, Great One Essence to become a true Great One, and you transform into that little slug tentacle guy. So you're just like an infant Great One. And now you'll grow up and, you know, become a true Great One and be able to travel the cosmos through the dreams. Apparently. You don't get a choice to go into New Game Plus or not, though. It kicks you right in. I really wanted to get to New Game Plus because uh, I wanted to be able to farm and get more vial, uh, more echoes when I farm. But I'm not there. I'm not getting very many anymore. So it's taken a while to uh, level up. I got 400,000 echoes for killing the moon presence. Yeah, decent amount. So I'm going to uh, clear the game again on New Game Plus off screen. Don't worry. And I'm going to just start farming up blood echoes and level up a bunch so I can do the chalice dungeons. Because the chalice is scale way harder than anything else. Skill way harder, way faster, and the uh, the deep ones. Even if you're like level 300, which I have been before, they're still 
killing you in a couple hits. Okay, I was hearing something there. Gonna go level up. It's nice to be able to play through the game with... Jeez, man. Uh, with your items and everything. So I should keep my uh, Child's Dungeons that I'm currently doing. It saves all that stuff. It saves your badges and the items that you've unlocked to be able to purchase, apparently. So I'm gonna go back and check that out. Make sure everything is set up correctly. And uh, I wonder if the prices stay the same, if the prices go back to uh, no bosses, kill prices. Because I could buy, like, you know, 600 blood vi vials for the amount of money I currently have. No, they stay. They're still expensive. <laughs> so, yeah, all, all the stuff's still there. All the stuff that you bought already is refreshed. So you can buy everything again if you want to. Get some nice sets going. You can wear the Canehurst set. Get some decent guns. Alright. So the doll won't be active on your first arrival. You get the return. And then come back again. The first time that you get to the Hunter's Dream, the doll is always inactive, even if you have um, insight. So the next time you come here, she will be active and I will be able to level up. Did I kill German one try or did he kill me once? No, I think he, I don't think he killed me. I, I think it was just the one death from the moon presence itself. So that was the quote unquote true ending. Uh there is still the I would actually consider the first ending to be the good ending. And then the second one's the bad one, and then the third one's the true one. There. Blood Tinge 40, Arcane 40, Endurance 40, get my vid up to 40. I'm 138. Doesn't matter really what you grab. Alright. Well, that'll be it for this one. Next time you come back, I'll be way further in the game. Uh, all kinds of things unlocked. And I will start doing the Chalice Dungeons. And. Yeah, I should be able to finish this one. The Batumaru one. I got the cursed, uh, defiled one opened. So we can get right in there and do that. And I don't remember if that's the last one or if there's another chalice after that for that one. But once that's done, I'm going to go and do the hinterland one second. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to do the um, the Aelin one next. The Aelin because these are in order. So this is the easiest one, the second easiest, third and fourth. So I'm going to do the Petumaru one once I'm done this one. I'm going to move on to the hinterland. Then I'm going to do the full Aelin. And then I'm going to move on to the Great Is. Uh, Great Is Chalice is actually the most interesting one, I think. Because it looks, and monster-wise, it's completely different than all the other ones. It's far more um, Cthulhu-style. The, all the monsters are Cthulhu-style. There's lots of weird stuff going on. And uh, the, the levels themselves have a different uh, general appearance to the walls. They're, they're more... Uh, alien, like they have things growing on them and the walls themselves seem alive in some places. So, we'll get there. You'll see it all, don't worry. Uh, I, I will be titling the titles of the video for when I start each new chalice, so you'll see when I'm doing one when I'm doing the other. So, yep. Come back next time. And, uh, 
I'll see you all later.